The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, guys, I got a little no cool call here on the little apartment that we take care of. A little Amanda no condenser fan motor. Uh, compressor's running, but the fan motor wasn't. Try to grab uh, something skinny here. Let's see if the blade will turn. That's not going to fit down in there. Let's try this. Motor's locked up. Yeah, it looks like the motor's locked up. All right, let me take it apart. Well, we got a Mardi Gras bead wrapped around the motor. You know, I live in Louisiana my whole life. Grew up in Louisiana. Love Mardi Gras, but. This is the first time I've ever seen a Mardi Gras bead. Wrapped inside of a condenser fan motor. I'm that little kid was playing around while this unit was running and he got caught up in there. He probably scared the shit out of him too. I'm wondering if it fried this motor. This, this is a 42 frame motor. I don't have a 42 frame universal in the truck. And Goodman is not answering their emergency phone line. I tried calling Goodman's emergency line several times, and they're not answering. I believe this motor's okay. It's hot, but get this damn motor crawl out of here. First for me, this has got to be a first for y'all. Yeah, I guarantee you that's what happens. The kids were sticking that damn bead down in there. Thought they were having fun. And that damn motor grabbed a hold of it. I bet you it scared the dog shit out of them. Alright guys, let me get that cut out of there. Alright, there's our Mardi Gras bead. Motor spins free now. Look at that. That's what they did. They stuck it down in that grill, making that noise. That's how bitch caught it. I think we'll be okay. The capacitor was coming up a little weak, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a new capacitor on there. Hopefully this thing will run for them. All right, so we got the Mardi Gras bead off of it. That's hilarious. A new capacitor all wired up. Let's pop the disconnect in and see if she'll run. Yep. So I didn't have a 42 frame motor. And Goodman is, like I said, is not answering their emergency phone line. I 
back zip ties to tidy that up. I'm out of them. I'll probably just use some electrical tape. I hate to use electrical tape, but I'm out of zip ties. You know, it's a good thing I got that thing running. Goodman, we clearly have an emergency phone number for them, and they don't even answer it. This pisses me off when suppliers do that. Y'all can debate my my refrigerant checking method here, but when I'm not suspecting a low refrigerant charge, I just pop this on there. And we're fine. We're running about 80 pounds of suction, but it's hot in that house. I'm gonna clean this up with some electrical tape. I wish I had zip ties, but I'm not just gonna leave them dangling there. All right, well, I had to waste the pan do it strap, but my electrical, the electrical tape just looked like shit. I mean, I'm just OCD about that kind of stuff. I like my, even my service work to look good. So anyway, well, I've been here with it, babysitting it, and it has not quit on me yet, so. Marty Crawl beat over there. That's what got us bound up the, got around the uh, bottom of the, between the shaft and the blade and bound it up. Uh, doesn't look like the unit was running when I got here, but it must not have been long. Thank God it did not burn up the motor. All right, well, we're headed back to the house. That was an easy one. It's for a Sunday, no cool call after church. So yeah, you know, as I was saying at the beginning of the video when I was taking that bead on the off the shaft of the motor, it was kind of windy. Y'all may have had a hard time hearing me. You know, there's a lot of Mardi Gras that goes on around here, but I've been living here my whole life and I don't think I've ever found a Mardi Gras bead stuck in a fan motor before. So, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Luckily though, it didn't burn up the motor because she said she had turned it off earlier today and she had she just turned it back on to try it and she decided to call. The unit was running when I got there and you know you saw when I stuck my mirror down in there the motor wouldn't move or the, the blade wouldn't move I thought the uh the motor was bound up so I was uh I was trying to get a hold of Goodman Goodman has an emergency uh, cell phone that, that, you know, the counter people, they, they share on call just like we do here in the field. And it's provided to all the contractors here, even though we're not a Goodman dealer, you know, still, they, you know, there's a fee. Now, I don't think they're charged their dealers, but they'll come open up the door for a fee. That was a 42 frame motor. I, I, didn't, I don't have a 42 frame motor on the truck. I'm going to need to put one on here now that I'm thinking about it. But they did not answer the phone. And they still haven't even attempted to call me back. You know, it's just, I hate that. I hate when supply houses do that. So anyway, I, I figured I would have got a hold of somebody eventually. So I said, well, let me go ahead and take this motor off. And when, at, when I, as I was getting ready to take it off, I flipped the top over, and that's when I discovered the Mardi Gras beat. And I was like, oh, my God. And as you saw, I got the Mardi Gras beat out, the Mardi Gras beat out of there, and uh, the motor spun free. So we're going to let it roll like that. I mean, the amp draw was good. I mean, I don't have a motor to, to replace it with anyway, and Goodman still has not tried to contact me back. It's a damn shame. But, you know, if it had been any... You know, I've had to call out other suppliers here. No issue. If they don't answer the phone, they call you right back. They still haven't even attempted to call me back. But I guess that's how Goodman does things all the way around from the quality of their units to their in-store personnel. Hey, look, I've talked a lot of trash about every brand out there, but uh, my feelings will pretty much always be the same about Goodman. All right, guys. I thank y'all for watching. 
appreciate the support. We'll see y'all on the next one.